tell a child that that's a bird, child will never be able to look at that bird again. Beautiful. Because naming comes with a total bundle of associations, references, memories, past, prejudices, everything. Getting it? Having named something, having tagged and labeled something, you are no more in direct touch with that thing. Now you are in touch with the name and not the thing. Are you getting it? Hmm? It takes away the beauty of... It takes away the beauty. The beauty that lies in the mystical unknowing. Now you know. We have four rabbits here. Deliberately we have refrained from naming them. One of them carries a name. The other three, they don't have names. It's beautiful. You often do not know who is who. They are all white, alike. What else are identities? What else are relationships? Names, right? Once something takes a name, it takes a lot of meaning. Now, it's not merely a person. The fellow is now a story. The name is the pointer of that story. Yes, and the naming may not belong exclusively to language. You may not name somebody, but the face itself may now serve as the name. It's more about using memory instead of direct and immediate realization. You see, I look at you and I can use your name to dig into memory. and get information about you, right? He is a myth. And I say he is a myth and then the old story book opens and everything about a myth is disclosed. And I may not give you a name or I may not know your name but I may know your face and I may use face as the index or pointer. And then the same story book opens. So it's not even about having a word as the name. It is about a way of living. There is a way of living that relies on memory, that relies on security and past, that relies on storybooks. There is one particular way of living. And then there is another way of living that is bold, comfortable. It does not rely on names and associations. It lives directly, immediately. It is not carrying wounds from the past. It has no scores to settle. You meet me in the morning and I look at you not greatly bothered by what you did in the night. What you did in the night has faded away with the night. It's a new morning. The storybook obviously contains all that which you did, but I'm not obliged to keep referring to the storybook. The storybook is there. If needed, I'll refer to it. If needed, I'll dig out information from it. But it is not a compulsive thing. It is not an obligation upon me to be sucked into memories the moment I look at your face. Oh, you are the same man who betrayed me once. Now I can't have any new, fresh, real relationship with you because all that I remember is the event that happened five years back. That is one way of living. You want to live that way? That is the way of naming. Hmm?
this is quite shocking basically that means all the education system and everything a complete falsehood anything that fills you up with knowledge would obviously take away your sense of wonderment and if there is no wonderment there is no mysticism possible then you will behave like a scholar who knows everything about everything or at least aspires to or at least knows from where information can be obtained this scholar leaves nothing beyond himself he says that all that is there is knowable by the mind 